What's happening guys? Kenny here again and today I've got this unboxing and first impressions video for you guys and this is really our first uh, my first like big purchase of the year this was a pre-order uh, from Blade HQ and let's just get right into it super excited I just had this video come out yesterday for the Fortis 2.0 those are on sale right now at Blade HQ and Knife Center if you guys don't know about that Packaging here. Oh, yeah, they really packed this guy up with Blade HQ, so. All right, we got a bench made box, and that's right. It's the Super Freak. Um, those of you guys that are, you know, in touch with what's going on right now in the knife world, you'll know about the Super Freak. It's the upgraded version of the Freak with uh, M4 steel and G10 scales. Oh man, here it is. That is pretty sweet looking. Wow. Scales are next level, guys. The contouring and stuff on there. Um, the red is really cool looking. It's like a deep red. It's not, it's almost like a red wine. Uh, the stand also a little more popping, but the, the scales are more like a, a red wine. Really cool looking. Let's check that centering. Oh wow guys, I actually got one that seems to be right in the middle. Um, I seem to have bad luck with bench made centering. I mean, I get a f I've had a few that were, were good. See how the action is. Came out pretty snappy. Feels great in hand. Um, I do like this compared to the the Grivery um, and Versatec. Um, it does taper, but I don't feel like it tapers quite as much as the the other handle scales um, on the the plastic handles. I know some people are going to be interested to see how much that tapers. I don't know if it tapers as much. So the the action, so it's not as free dropping as they can be. Um, I'm not super. They don't all have to be free droppers right at the beginning. Got a little lock stick, a little grittiness in the in the access lock, which is normal. But uh, the scales are. So what they do is they they kind of like do a little bit of, you can see in the layers, but that's pretty much like a, there's a, a texture to it with the lines that you're seeing. That is the, the layers being, you know, dug into. And then on the edges here, they just kind of have a, a contour here and a contour here. And it does feel really good in hand. This does really just fall away in the hand. And it's it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Nicely uh you know, knocked down on the edges and just just really well done. Very comfortable in the hand. It does have the uh the split arrow clip or penis clip, whatever you guys want to call it. Um it is the parkerized version, not the painted version which I appreciate. Feels like it's gonna be go good going in and out of the pocket. There is a little bit of texture from this, but it's pretty smooth all around. It's got texture, but it's smoothed over. So I right now I have uh, Steve from Super Steel Steve's Freak. 
I have his freak right now with the normal handle scales and uh, this feels maybe about the same weight, maybe a little bit heavier. Probably should have brought that guy into this. I might just do that, bring him in and just do a little comparison right away. Let's go ahead and do that. I am going to pause this. I don't like to break this up, but let's go ahead and do this. All right, so <clears throat> I got the calipers. I got Steve's Freak, the infamous Freak. And then I got the I got the scale. So first off, um, uh, just with a quick look, it does look like it's hard to show this in camera. It does look like this tapers to the back. For those of you guys that don't know that, those of you guys that have this will know that the handle tapers to the back. This one does not so much. It's gonna be hard to do this with the, so five, five, point five, five, six, just over half inch, point six, two, six. So it does taper, definitely tapers. Definitely tapers to the back. Let's see this one. Okay, so 0.54. So I guess it's just a little bit more, not, not that much, 0.56. So it tapers slightly more to the back of the knife. Let's go right after point. So point four five eight. Point five four. So yeah. So this definitely tapers more to the to the butt. But I mean, it's noticeable. Ever so slightly noticeable. For sure, but so subtle, guys. So subtle. I really am stoked about this. Oh, what do we have here? First production. This is my first first production bench made. Number six seventy five of twelve hundred. That's kind of exciting. Oh, let's look at the grind, guys. This is my first M four bench made. I'm really excited about that. Looks pretty nice. It's pretty even, guys, and pretty, uh, it's a little wider on this side than this side. A little broader. But not horrible. Um, yeah. So, really excited to get to use this guy. Um, let's see how sharp he is. It feels, feels pretty, pretty, pretty sharp. Definitely sharp. See it putting lines there. So it's digging in a little bit. Um, let's see if I got some paper. God, I was unprepared today, guys. <clears throat> Sorry for being unprepared. <sighs> it's not amazingly sharp. It's not wanting to like curl really. Here's some uh, recycling paper. Yeah. It's not super quiet through that. Um, I know this one isn't right now either. I gotta sharpen that, but this guy's much quieter. Of course, that's my edge. He's gotten a lot of use too, so that's still pretty screaming sharp after all the use I put on it. So yeah, um, sharp. Not amazingly sharp. Definitely going to want to sharpen him up soon. <laughs> Not going to get too much use on that on that factory edge. Not super impressed by it, but it is sharp. And I'm not super, you know, upset with that. 
But this is my first M4, like I said, from Benchmade. Excited to try that. And I'm excited to use this knife. I do love uh, this freak. I, I, I really liked it after getting to use it from Steve. Thanks a lot, Steve. And, um, and I'm excited to try this one now. I was really excited to pick up the Super Freak um, after getting to handle Steve's. Although I did pick this up before I got Steve's. So 3.72 on the, the regular version. 4.32. So it did, feel, it did feel heavier in hand just a little bit. And it is. You definitely notice it a little bit. Um, although, you know, 4.32, you know, I'm not super upset about that. It is a large knife. This is a get some work done kind of knife anyways. Um, I do feel a little bit harder spot right here on this knife compared to this one. Just initial things I'm noticing. That might be due to that little bit of thicker handle and a little bit of harder edge because of the G10. But... Not anything I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hate, but definitely something to notice. Yeah, really exciting, guys. The Super Freak. Benchmade, I think this is technically their first release now since it's in my hands. But, yeah. Really exciting, guys. Uh, one thing I did not show you guys, um, I know the action's not, you know, it's a little stiff. Um, it is solid lockup though, in every direction. Um, and the coating's very nice, guys. I did not mention that. The coating is very even, looks very nice. Um, very well done. Hopefully this holds up better than the black coating I've gotten from Benchmade before. But we shall see. Yeah, that's all I wanted to add on. And thanks for watching. I got a lot of cool stuff coming this week. Um, I got a steel hardness testing video coming this probably tomorrow or the next day. Probably going to record it today. Um, that's exciting. I uh, got some results from hardness testing. And then I got other knives out right now that are being tested and coming back probably this week. So a lot of really cool stuff, guys. Um, I do have some uh, micarta. I also have an anodizing video coming up. Um, there's really exciting stuff coming up soon, guys. And my wife has agreed to do the, uh, the, the oh geez, the price guess, which is going to be exciting too. So a lot of cool stuff coming this week. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subs and likes and just everything, guys. Um, I am right around, I am right about to hit 500 and I cannot believe it guys. You have been absolutely amazing and I appreciate every single one of you guys and the guys who are out there, you know, giving me kind words like Steve and, and banter and those guys, um, I appreciate that too because you've helped me get to where I'm at. Um, Outpost 76, I don't want to forget anybody, but yeah, you guys are all amazing. And I appreciate every single one of you. So have a great day, guys. Take it easy.